Hey guys, and welcome back to more Planet Base. So, we're actually filling up this storage decently. Um, we got the large processing back and we're setting up a bar to hopefully get our people to higher satisfaction levels. He actually could have built that thing, but then he had to go, he wanted to go for a pair really badly, apparently, so. So it takes vegetables and turns it into alcohol. Well, I guess that's fine. Do I want two machines then? I guess so. Nothing wrong with having two machines. So. This is a colonist ship. So. I lo almost look like we got one. What's it called? Oh, and I can show you the milestone here for standing that we just got. But. No. Status. Excellent. Okay, so getting that bar did raise our status to excellent. So that's good at least. We have no visitors. Hmm. I think we might need maybe like. Well, I guess we haven't got attacked once yet, but I'm kind of scared that we're going to get attacked. So, I just want one more. A trading ship has landed. What does the trading ship have? A massive storage. Well, we just, I don't think we're going to need that because we just got upgrade. Holy shit, 22 medicinal plants. Don't think we need these vegetables or these varro meats. Um, and then we can just give you starch till you're full. Oops, I can just hold it. Ooh, up to 150. Perfect. So we got that. People can have their alcoholic beverages if they would like. Just relax and have a drink, I guess. <laughs> so now we can sell all that stuff. Can these both be high priority? I think so. So we'll get rid of the big one here and we'll put it here. I'm not sure. But. The, either way, they're very high priorities. Yeah, I'm not sure if having both high priority works or how, how it works ultimately. But. Seems to be going okay. So spares were out of again. But it's just the metal. But now we should be getting lots more metal, so. Because we have. Well, we technically will have four going, but. So, yeah, he just needs two more meats. Get into the mine. Oh, but now we don't even have enough. We're gonna have to really up our mine game. Because now. We, the reason we could get these all going at once is because. We had a surplus of um, metal, but now we don't have that surplus of metal, I don't think. So. So yeah, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Take a couple drinks. I think we could put a couple more beds in here just in case people really need them. Because, yeah, the thing is, I could put another dorm over here, but. Kind of a pain in the butt at this point. So.
Oh, you have to take the spares all the way over there. Because this one's pretty much full. And then he has to pick it up. Oh, they're both has to go now. Because both these need repairing. These all pretty much need repairing. So I don't know why these... I don't know why you paired that one as well. Like, I have this on high priority. So, like... They should be making it. But... Oh well. Getting minor bots is also important. But I'm so happy I have this large storeroom. It's making it so much easier. Also having these um, bots is huge. So they're just so much more efficient. Colonist ship. What's that? That's three gu- oh sh- how- I got three guards. Stats. Yeah, I got three guards out of that. And they did them at 20%. But, whatever. Holy shit, I have 11 engineers now. That's way more than I needed. And they still can barely keep all those things running at once. 70-30? Yeah. Nah, let's go 50-50. We need both, so... Especially since they don't have the radio console, man! So can I make that a priority? Probably not. Yeah, because it'll interfere with the other thing. The reason they're not mad is because they actually... I've told them to work at all these bioplastic stations. So... Okay, they're they're just between work. Not the colonist ship, just one worker. I guess that's fine. He's going to go work the mail processor, which is probably a good thing for him to do. But yeah, well at least we have enough engineers to kind of keep everything moving, well moving and shaking. So and now I don't have to worry about those guys as much anymore. Hmm. Do I want... kind of feel like I want another power thingy. I do. Let's build one. I... again, I've hit that millions of times because it just seems like the thing that would be the power collector. Getting the tech for the bigger power collector I wouldn't mind, but... We can only do what we can do. So... But... I think this was a good idea, building that. Uh, radio antenna is not doing anything. See, there's people sleeping here, but not in these beds. And these beds are apparently the better beds. But. Man, there's just so much stuff produced over here. I think the medics won't focus on this. Like, I guess I could probably focus on this, and then maybe the medic would focus on this. I just don't really want to, because I'm worried they're going to keep these, like, all the way 100% up, but... I guess if that was, is what makes the medic focus on this, I guess that's fine. So the power collector's been built. <laughs> at the moment, where power generation is at an all-time low. But now... Wait, there you go. And now we're charging again, so. I think we can start probably working on that big than the starport now. I'm gonna link it there just in case I want to get rid of those later. And I'm sure this is sticking around because I like that. I really like that airlock, it's extremely handy. So I need 10 metal. Not sure how much metal we have. So that guy must have dropped off more colonists. Which is fine. That thing's almost full. And I didn't buy that gigantic storage thing because I'm like, oh, I'm not going to need it. It's just the bioplastic. Like, I have way too much bio... The thing is, if I... And I think is if I don't build the bioplastic, I'm just going to be full of starch. 
so. So I think I'm just kind of damned if I do, damned if I don't kind of thing. Trading ship. What you got? How much you want for a semiconductor? 60. That would almost be worth our while, actually. And three spares? How much you want for spares? Oh, you want a lot more than they're worth. What's semiconductor made of? No, they're just take a long time to make. But I'm not gonna give you 60 worth for it. Actually, I will. I will give you 60 worth. I will buy that, that from you. Because I'm almost just happy to get rid of some of this crap. Because I just have so much, <laughs> so much start. Not, yeah, I don't know, it just takes time to make the semiconductors. Time and metal. Where if I can get a semiconductor, I can just throw it into a, a bot or a gun. They say I already have this, they're just waiting on a metal. So. The bots are just waiting on a semiconductor. So. Oh, the reason we're low in metal is because we're using it all right now on the starport. That too. That allows to work on a bot, which is always good. Are we? No, we're not too bad on spare parts right now. So, I think this bar was actually b being a good thing. So. Current console is manned. Head over there. I just remember, poor guys, they hit this cabinet and stuff killed everybody. <laughs> poor guys. Okay, we do have still some spares. There's two spares somewhere. Either over here, probably over here. Like, you just look, it's like all just crap. There's no one to empty the medical supplies out here. If I make a closet here, wouldn't be a bad thing. And actually, if so much, if so much things, they could actually do that. Say, so, here you can't. No, you coming to coming to do this? No, you're going. You're on a different job. Oh, you're you're going to get paired. Oh, see, that's how useless these guys. CRT would have finished it, but... Incoming transmission! There's their needs. Yes. A large group of wounded soldiers. I guess... Sure. A large group kind of worries me. But... How much is a large group? Is it just one? Holy shit, five. But hopefully they don't need medical attention, too much medical attention. I got four beds. And you guys arrived in a sandstorm, which is gonna degrade you even more. I thought I'd have to give them medical supplies, but I don't think I will. They'll just have to use the- You guys are walking all the way- You're gonna die! Oh, they're alternating? Oh, so many are gonna use each? Well, I don't know. You could could have all used this one. If you die, it's not my fault. But as you guys probably calculated it, so many people will wait here and so many will walk there, but... Well, there's nothing I could have done. They arrived in a sandstorm. And that's probably going to affect my rating significantly.
I'm guessing. Well, oh wait, affect the welfare because people died, so my welfare goes way down. Do I have to feed these visitors? I guess possibly. Are they decreasing in health? I can build another sick bay if that's what you want. I actually have to use my medical kits on these people. So, I have to use my medical kits on them, and all I'm getting is 25. That's what I was worried about, but I only have the two medical kits anyway. So yeah. Oh, I have five medical kits. That's not the point. I have to use all my medical supplies on these idiots. For no gain. Well, at least there's less of them now. I'm just kind of glad a bunch of them died. Even though it's probably, like I said, going to kill my welfare. Yeah, let's walk over. Jeez, like... Why do I have to deal with these idiots? This person not even seeking medical attention. There's two free beds here. Oh, because these people are using them. That's just ridiculously annoying. Ridiculously annoying. But anyway, guys, I think we will continue this in the next episode of Planet Base. Thanks, guys. Later.